Hey, here's Steve Morris Engines. I'm Steve. This is an engine that we just got done doing a conversion on, and we will do your engine conversions on certain applications. If you have something that's worthwhile to you know change from a nitrous motor because nitrous sucks, uh, or NA motor because uh, they don't have any boost. So I mean, if you want to make some boosted power, I'm more than happy to do that. And if we can use your base platform as an engine, we'll be happy to do that kind of conversion. So this is an engine, <clears throat> excuse me, that uh, Paolo Odorico sent us from Canada to do an engine conversion. It used to be NA, and now we have converted this over to a Pro Charge piece. Now, follow through with the rest of the video because they have some interesting stuff We're talking about the tune-up, how we did the tune-up, and how we do multiple uh, horsepower tune-ups with two gear sets and actually underdriving the blower for the starter gear set. But this is our normal engine conversion, big block Chevrolet. We converted it uh, to, from NA to boosted. So our normal conversion, which is our camshaft, piston and ring package, uh, EFI or blow through carburetor, and the, obviously the Pro Charger deal. So we did end up doing a, uh, the F3 uh, to make things just a little bit more durable than trying to do everything with F2, especially at a 2000 horsepower level which is the max that uh, Paolo wanted to be at with this particular engine. So anyways, this is a you know, Holly EFI um, C16 fuel intercooled and a 130 blower, not a 136. Um, so, and I do some different gear changes, so kind of interesting. So anyways, uh, we're going to start out underdriving it, and I'll go out and we'll do that pull, and then we'll talk about it. All right, so we're outside of the room, and what I'm going to show you is the dyno pull uh, with the absolute starter, just so we can get the car sorted out and feel comfortable with it at the lowest horsepower marginally. We're, I guess we could take some timing out of it, but this is with that gear set. This is with a uh, basically a .8 gear set, so .8 because we've just turned a 1.19. So it actually is 0.81, sorry. But uh, anyways, it's uh, we the, the way the gear set would normally be is this would be a 1.19 gear set. We just flipped it around to try knocking a whole bunch of boost out of it. So a little bit interesting because I haven't ever done that before on these. So I'm going to run this on a dyno and then I'm going to show you uh, the numbers and then we'll just take a pause and then I'll show you the numbers of the other tunes where we run it with a 1.19 gear set. And then we change that gear set uh, to the 1.30 gear set. So you can figure out uh, how fast it's spinning from there. Um, and again, we could make more, could do more. That's not what uh, uh, Paolo is trying to do here. Uh, but it does give us some options up. So we're going to run this thing, and uh, then we'll take a look at the numbers. So, numbers just popped up on the screen. Let's uh, shrink this down just a little bit here for you. So, uh, pretty interesting. Uh, because I've actually done this somewhat backwards, I've already run it with a 119 gear set, so I got, uh, but I'm, I'm going backwards here, so it's going to be a little bit of pause. But uh, so, this is actually what it just did on the 0.8 drive and you can see here 1228 horsepower at 7700 rpm i mean it's basically done up here uh 950 foot pounds of torque right through there nice broad good spot to start a car out at that you um 
that you don't have a complete handle on. Now, the other thing that I want to show you and uh, talk about, because we'll come back to here. So this is the .8 gear set, and I'll overlay all three graphs here after I get all done with it. So bear with me. But what I wanted to also show you is, so we're, you know, uh, doing this all through. This one in particular has Holly. You know, we'll also do fuel tech, but this one has Holly system on it. This is all one tune because the way you're actually going to tune this engine is since all we're doing is going up in boost level I already have it tuned for there we don't need to do a whole bunch of jacking around and having separate tunes all this other stuff because I'm keeping the timing the same AFR is the same so it has this nice super safe uh, low boost tune where it runs in the bottom of the table and then mid mid tune where it runs in the middle and then as it can increases in boost we already have timing curves air fuel ratios everything is already all set up so you can just run this on one setup all right so one tune just changing um just changing the gear sets around in the blower and then everything else is track management power management at the track so no tuning is needed to be going on here to do these different levels so uh let me shut this down. I'll come back and I'll get all the information all laid out for you uh, so you can see everything that's going on there. I'm sorry, before I do that, I will show you the boost level. So this is, I just entered that up there, uh, Apollo Base 0.8 uh, gear set. Let me type that in. All right, 0.8 gear set. That's, uh, sorry, right up there. You can see name and everything. Anyways. So that's the point eight gear set, and if we go back, and I just wanted to show you the boost. So this is flipping the 1.19 gear set around. Our boost was nine pounds at 7,800, or the good, the good reference number of eight pounds. Eight pounds of boost at 7,500 uh, RPM makes 1,200 horsepower on this uh, uh, 540. So anyways, now I'll go in and uh, uh, finish up everything come back. All right, so we're inside. I'm going to change the uh, gear set in here. I'm going to show you real quickly. I'm not going to make you watch the whole darn thing, but I'll just show you that uh, there's five bolts that are holding the blower. Each one of these standoff tubes has a bolt behind it. I've already taken them out, except for this one. So you take that last uh, bolt out. Now your blower will come off of your gear drive. So you hear all the standoffs. Put your blower down on the ground. Now we're going to separate the case. And uh, I'll take that case off and then I'll show you what everything is inside over there. Okay, now I've taken the bolts out around the outside. Very simple and easy. Separate this thing out and put a drain pan underneath it because it's going to drain all the oil. So it's drained all the oil, separate it off. There's our one gear. This is our bottom drive gear. This is the top driven gear. We take this circ clip off of there, take the gear off, take the gear off here. Make sure that unless you're trying to underdrive this, like what actually we are doing is underdriving it, we, the bigger gear is on the bottom, the smaller gear is up on top. That always makes it drive to the right direction. Here, we're actually, uh, we've already, or we're actually, you know, spinning this slower, so trying to make as little amount of horsepower, so we're actually going to underdrive the blower, not even one to one. So, anyways, that's how this goes. Gear on there, your gear up here, bada bing, bada boom, slap it back together, put everything on, all done. Just did a gear shaft, gear change. Okay, now you can see that we have it all back together, real simple. Just plug, you know, put the cover in, put the oil in it, of course. Then plug in the uh, the uh, standoffs, reconnect our pipe. This is pretty much a 20 minute deal at probably most in order to change the gear set. Probably more hassle just getting it out of the car than it is to do it uh, to actually change the gear set. So, anyways, now we're going to do that. Uh, 
to, uh, one more time, I'm not going to bother showing you that, but we're going to do it one more time to put the 130 gear set in it. So this is a uh, 119 gear set that is flipped around, so it actually is like a, a .8 gear set. So .8 drive. Then we're flipping it around doing a, or I've already done the 1.19. I'll show you all the horsepower numbers and explain this. And then we're going to do the regular full race deal <clears throat> with the 120, or I'm sorry, with the 130 gear set. Now, can this go even more? Yes, obviously we can spin the blower even faster. But the whole point is we're already exceeding where he wanted to be horsepower wise. There's always more room on the table, which is why we get him to the bigger blower instead of the F2. Um, you know, we could do all these lower horsepower stuff with F2, obviously, but then. The 2,000 horsepower is really leaning on F2, and then uh, anything above that is really, really leaning on it, and usually not even quite possible. But really good to do this with the smaller F3. And uh, so, anyways, we're gonna go out. Uh, we'll start making the pulls, and then I'll, you know, kind of edit this all around so you can see the chron chronological order of how this would progress in the car. All right, so here is the uh, test at 1.19, same tune. Everything is exactly the same in the EFI. All we are doing, you can see right up here, this is our 1.19 gear set. All we are doing is just changing the gear. Now this one, we just happened to just actually flip the gears around, put the bottom on the top and top on the bottom, okay? And we are at 1,700. 1710 at 7800 so a nice bod flat up there 1251 at 62 in torque i'll show you the boost so again this is just flipping that gear around and that gets us at 20 pounds of boost at um <coughs> excuse me at 7522 up there at 78 all right now i'll show you the um show you the 1.30 gear set so here's our 1.30 gear set sorry there you go 1.30 gear set and we are at 2018 horsepower at 7700 rpm and 1409 uh, foot-pounds of torque and we take a look at our boost and we are at 25 at 7500 and 26 Probably would have made uh, 26 and a half or so at uh, 7,800 to be comparative. So let's take a look at this in graph form for all of those ones. So you get a good comparison. Uh, let's see here. You got that. Mystery log. So we got 5, 8, 9. All right. So a little harder to see, but you can see. Uh, nice correlation here. This light blue line is with the point, point 0.81 gear drive set. So this is the one one or the 1.19 flipped around backwards. So it's making it's underdriving the blower. This is only eight pounds of boost right here. So you can see that horsepower curve. Then all we did was flip the gear around. So it's a pretty big change, and that's why you see a real significant change in between there. So that would be like. Uh, 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 20, 20, so about a 0.4 in gear change. And then, so this is only going up to the 130 gear set. That would be a 0.2 in gear change. So that's why you would see about double the amount of horsepower improvement from here to here, from here to here. So real interesting thing here. So this is, you know, his good full race. He was only looking to make 1,800 horsepower total. Um, obviously, we're above that. Uh, here is his, uh, this is the starter. You get everything all figured out. Everything's cool. Then you just come in here, flip the gear around, use this horsepower curve. Then you could just do power management with timing and whatever it takes to get the car down the track right. Then when he's got all this all sorted out, he changes the gear set to this one. Bada bing, bada boom. You know, he's at a 2,000 horsepower level and flying. And then would obviously be able to ha have to do power management in that realm too. But all of that is with just one tune when tuned correctly because you can do multiple 
uh, multiple boost levels, it's uh, that's kind of the way I, I always do that. The tuning on these is so uh, if I even if I don't have every single and, and and good tuners do this too. I mean, it's not just me, but you don't have this thing. Uh, so if we puts a different gear set, puts a 145 gear set in, or tries to make you know 22, 2300 horsepower. It's like, oh my gosh, no, you got to have the whole thing tuned all over again. No, I've already extrapolated out what it should take up there. Uh, it's pretty minimal amount of difference in uh, actual, um, uh, pretty, what I'm trying to say is minimal amount of difference in what the correction would have to pick up, if anything. But I know what it's going to take up there, just like we know what it takes uh, at the low 8 pounds of boost. Then, at, uh, then we're looking at... Uh, the 20 pounds of boost and then 25 pounds of boost well i can figure it out at 30 pounds of boost and be very close on tune-up as getting all good good tuners but anyways uh that's some pretty interesting testing a real nice good solid combo on a conversion engine um you know a, you know paulo sun in his engine and we did the conversion on it um so anyways a real nice solid piece uh paulo's gonna really enjoy this thing and uh i'm steve morris Steve Moore's Engines. Have a great day.